Good morning. Back in the 1970s, we learned a song in our youth choir, and I never forgot the words, and the Lord brings them up every once in a while, and he did that again this morning, and I'd like to share them with you. Is your house in order for the coming of the King? Are you under his control in each and everything? Is he now your Lord and Master? and the one you worship and adore? A clear, compelling witness for the Savior do you give? Living every moment like a Christian ought to live? Say, will you be ready for the coming of the Lord? Will you be ready when the King returns? Do you long to see him with a heart that yearns? Will you not at all be taken by surprise? Will his words, well done, be a waiting prize? Will there be no shame or regret when you look into his piercing eyes? Will you be ready when the king returns? Will you be ready? Jesus is coming. Let it shape everything that we think and say and do, brothers and sisters. If you knew he was coming at midnight tonight, how would that change what you're doing today? The Bible says that when we have our hope fixed on that, fixed on his return, we purify ourselves. If we knew we were going to meet the Lord today, we would be getting things right in our hearts and lives. We ought to be doing that every single day, moment by moment, taking advantage of every opportunity there are people that need to hear about Jesus. There are people that need to know of his forgiveness. There are people that need to know his love and be shown his love. Press into him today. Spend time in his word. Spend time talking to him. Ask him to help you evaluate your heart and to bring up anything that is not pleasing to him. Then confess that sin and turn away from it. That's what repentance is. I want to close with this scripture from Matthew 24, verses 43 through 51. Just as a man can prevent trouble from thieves by keeping watch for them, so you can avoid trouble by always being ready for my unannounced return. Are you a wise and faithful servant of the Lord? Have I given you the task of managing my household to feed my children day by day? Blessings on you if I return and find you faithfully doing your work. I will put such faithful ones in charge of everything I own. But if you are evil and say to yourself, my Lord won't be coming for a while, and begin to oppress your fellow servants, partying and getting drunk, your Lord will arrive unannounced and unexpected and severely whip you and send you off to the judgment of the hypocrites. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Let him find us being that good and faithful servant. Let him find us faithfully doing our work. Jesus is coming. <laughs> will you be ready?